What is going on Milwaukee Scholars? This is Mr. K coming at you from Japan. As you can see right behind me is Kinkakuji, the Golden Pavilion itself. Now I am really excited to be teaching you all music again this year, but it's going to look a little bit different. So with that said, let's get into this week's lesson. Today I am going to be showing you two websites that will allow you to explore some aspects of music. The first one is called Incredibox. So you can go ahead and type into your Chrome browser Incredibox.com just like I have done or you can check out the link in the description. Either way, go ahead and go there. So here's what the website's gonna look like when you get there. Now there is an app version that you can get on your phone and take everywhere for the rest of your life. But today we're just gonna be doing the web version. Please click on try web version. Give it a moment to load. I do recommend using headphones. Now you can see we have seven people here. They've all got their own styles. But if you look at the bottom here, you see these little locks. We can't use those. Those are only for the app version. So please choose from one of these top four. Today I'm going to choose alpha, the first one. Now it might take a few seconds to load, so be patient. When it's ready, you'll see this button. Go ahead and click it. Now here you can see we have seven men. They all look very similar. They all look very cold. They are unemployed. They have no job. They don't have money for clothes right now. So we need to get them a job. When we give them a job, they will get on some clothes and they'll start making music for us. So let's see what happens. Here are our jobs. Go ahead and drag one onto a person. And look at that, now he is making a beat for us. Let's see what happens when we give this guy a job too. Alright, let's keep on adding in some jobs and we'll see what it sounds like at the end. Alright, so now we've got all seven of our people with a job. They're all making music for us. It sounds pretty good. But what if I want to try out some of these jobs that I didn't have before? I'm first going to resume this and then watch as I do that. Let's take this guy. We can either listen to him only. Or we can mute him. Or we can take away his job entirely and give him a new job. Let's try this one. Alright, so we just changed a few jobs and now it sounds almost entirely different. So, now you all are going to have some time. Go ahead and play with this on your own. You can try Alpha as well or you can try one of the other different styles. And just see what you can make. Try to make different layers. Spend some time experimenting with it and see what you like best. So now with that said, I'm going to move on to the second website that is the Epic Online Orchestra. Go ahead, you can type in your Chrome browser or click the link in the description for epiconlineorchestra.com. Here's what this looks like. This is going to help us learn about chords you see right here. 
A chord is when you have multiple notes in music played at once. It sounds like this. Or it sounds like this. Now you can see we have C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. We only have those seven letters in music. You see we have here a C, and here we have C and M. Let's see what's different between those two. How do those sound different? Take a moment to think about that on your own. I will tell you this C, we call that C major, and this C with a small m, we call that C minor. So it's interesting how the major and minor chords sound so different. What different feelings do those give you? Go ahead and take some time to think about that. And now we're going to move on to the sequencer. This is going to allow us to make a sequence of chords and here it's going to help us create the feelings we want in our music so first i'm just going to get rid of these things that it started us off with and i'm just going to start with these feelings we have protagonism a protagonist is the main character in a story if you did not already know so if we want to sound like a protagonist hear that it sound goes up from C to D or how about if we want to hear mystery all right next outer space or how about sadness Next, let's put some romance in our music. Or some drama. Next, wonder. Next, fantasy. Let's make our sounds fantastical. And finally, antagonism. Now, I wonder if any of you all know what antagonism means. I already told you, protagonism comes from protagonist, the main character in a story. Antagonism also, we use that word when we talk about our ELA stories. An antagonist is normally the bad guy in a story. The person who is trying to stop the protagonist. Let's hear that. Sounds kind of dark, almost evil, don't you think? All right, so now to use the sequencer, we're going to start out with any chord. Just choose whatever you want. Let's try F. And now we're going to choose the feeling we want. You see some of them is not going to let us use because it needs a different kind of chord to start on. But here we've got this. Let's start with protagonism. Mm, a little more of that. Next, let's go with romance. Drama. Uh, maybe a little sadness. And mystery. Now let's hear what we've got. So now with all of that, we're starting to have some real music going on. 
We're learning how to tell a story through our music. So now I'm going to turn it all over to you. You can spend some time working with the sequencer, find the feelings you want in your music. When you are done, you can click copy here. That's going to take the link that will take me to the sequence that you have made. I can show you, click copy. Then I'll paste and see, it's the same thing I had before. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy. Remember one more time, links are in the description. Also, I will be putting an exit ticket in the description so that you all can show me what you came up with. Have a great weekend, everyone.